Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing, all you beautiful people? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice content, links, all that stuff. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And that's all good. So here you go. Now, we have a little problem for our pause menu and our input. And basically that is that we don't have a key time variable. So something that kind of keeps track of of key time and uh, and uh, and kind of what do you call it uh, limits the number of times we can press a button and and continually get input right so we're gonna go into state.h open state.h and all that stuff and I'm gonna just go ahead and close all but the state.h for now and the CPP and I'm gonna make a little key time variable in here so we got the quit and the paused and I'm gonna do a float key time float key time max like that and that is gonna basically help us update the key time so I'm gonna make a virtual void update hmm key time Use a small t actually, key time, key time max, key time. Update key time. And it's gonna keep updating it. And uh, once we get virtual void, update key time. Okay. Very simple little function. There we go. And then we're going to do a const float dt as well, because I forgot that. You're going to need that. Uh, const float dt. And then if this key time is less than this key time max this key time plus equals maybe 100.f multiply by dt or 10.f multiply by dt and then we gotta set the key time and the key time max here so this key time equals 0.f this key time max equals what can it be 100.f or 10.f we'll keep it at 10 and we'll multiply it by dt and we'll keep going up and up and up so there you go this will update the key time for us and we can use this function in pretty much any any of our states now and then we need to make another little function functions uh, okay and then we need to do accessors and functions mm, and this accessor is going to be a little different cons float reference cons float bool um, get key time key time Call, not not const. We'll just do get key time. Now this is going to be a little different, and I'm going to have to think a little bit about this. It's going to return a boolean to me, and basically this boolean mm, get key time. Okay, and this is going to return if this key time. It's greater or equal to this key time max Re return true else it will return false but if this is the case then we have to set this key time into 0.f as well but it's not that complicated it's pretty easy why did I think it was complicated it's not um, basically it just resets the key time and returns a true otherwise it says no you can't press a button yet so basically that's what that is functions 
accessories. Always good to comment stuff so you know what the hell's going on. Um, and there you go. That is your key time stuff. Now, in order to be able to use this key time, we ha obviously have to update it. And I'm going to update it in here. Right below this up update uh, key time with DT. Basically, before any type of input, I'm going to update it because we want to we wanted to have it very updated uh, when we press stuff. Um, otherwise, you cannot press it, blah, blah. OK, OK, it should, it should work. That should work. So if we go back into update pause menu buttons here, so you're just going to do and and this get key time. Now, if it is true, it will reset it and it will let me end the state. Otherwise, it will not. Wait, why did I run it? I'm dumb. I need to put this one more in one more position. Basically, an update input. So let's just close the program. Let's go in here and let's paste it right here, right next to the is key pressed. Okay, because we don't want to be able to press the that key that much. Actually, I don't need it in that quit position okay yeah it's very slow so we need to basically 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 tune it down a little bit um update either we tune this down or we increase the update key time variable to 100 maybe and you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually going to remove that from update pause menu. We're actually going to remove it from here. We don't need that. And there we go. So let's just try this. And we should be able to open our pause menu without any problems. Yeah, so if you hold escape down, see it's not it's not flipping out on you right now. So that is a that is a very good thing. Okay. And there you go. That is your pause menu. You can do any animation back here. You can make, you can do anything because you have a class for it. And here we're gonna need a settings menu. And the, of course the editor, we have that. And I hate that jitter at the first time. It only happens once, never happens again. But I'm gonna rework the sprite sheet later. So you don't have to worry about that. Quit, 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 quit. There you go guys and girls, pretty much, pretty much. Pause menu. Pretty much done. Uh, that quits back to menu. And uh, the one in game state, the other button, or in main menu state, returns us to the desktop. So that is good. That works. Now the next step, I w next thing I would like to do. Also, I got to put this into the GUI. There you go. Um, the next thing I want to do is I actually want to make a settings menu and the settings menu is going to be a state. Okay. So we're going to go there from main menu state. And to do that, I'm just going to add a new class and I'm going to call it settings state state. I put it into the states place here and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make it a little better for us to change the settings of the game um, we can do a bunch of stuff from there save the settings and that's gonna help us out a lot uh, I just want to do state the state constructor here um, Okay, cool, cool. Now, because we're gonna just copy stuff over from probably from main menu state, I'm just gonna close everything else and let us do that because we have a few minutes. So I just wanna start it off main menu state dot H. It doesn't really have anything else. It just has this copy the constructor Put that in the constructor. 
send in window window what else does it want are you serious oh it's lagging of course stupid ass external hard drives come on bro come on come on come on i don't have all day okay Can you please tell me what you want? Window supported key states. Window supported key states. Okay, so that's ready. That's good to go. We're going to have functions here. Um, accessors. Copy that. Boom. And then a private section. And there you go. Now you can create a setting state pretty much pretty soon. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually just copy over most of the stuff from, from this right here. So I'm going to first copy the, the variables and the functions into setting state into the private section here font, the buttons, init variables, background, fonts, keybinds, init buttons, and then I'm going to copy over the updates, put them right in here, and then from main menu state.cpp, I'm going to pretty much copy over all of these, put them right into the cpp file, under wait those are private variables for private functions right yeah private functions so this is going to be settings state put them all in there okay good 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 main menu state.h i'm going to copy in the button.h include right in there Okay, so we can create buttons because we're probably going to need buttons. And all of these functions, I'm going to copy them over as well. So just go all the way down, copy all of this all the way up to the destructor almost. Paste that at the bottom under functions. I know it's going a little fast, but I think I think you can do this. And just copy all of these, change all of these names. And then you have pretty much a working working state with nothing special so we're just going to do update buttons we're going to remove this new game move that quit we're going to have quit left still here and then we're going to go up and just remove all the other buttons except the exit state button and hopefully all the initializer functions should work just straight out of the box since we copy pasted them. And before I end the video, I just want to do one last thing. I want to go in here and I want to copy this if and define thingy and put it up here. State H. And uh, if. Okay. Okay. So there you go. There you go. Really, really nice. We have a working setting state, which we can push. Everything should be fine. Nothing is red. No problems. Uh, just clean it up a little bit. And there you go. We might not need all of this. We'll remove some of it later. But uh, but for now, that is fine. So I'm just going to close main menu state. Wait, main menu state.cpp. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to include... No, I shouldn't have closed H. Here, I'm going to include the setting state right here in main menu because we're going to push that from the, from the, basically from the um, update buttons. Okay, settings. So go ahead and just do that and then settings 
state is pressed, then we're going to push a setting state onto the stack. And I think that was the button's name. Let's double check. It's just settings state. Let's call it settings state. Um, update buttons again. Settings state. Good. Update render. And that should be fine. So let's just run this before we end and see if our setting state works. So now we have finished the pause menu pretty much and created a setting state where we're just going to change a lot of settings for the game. Uh, settings crashed. Okay. But an active. Um, I don't think I ever pushed that button in it. Buttons. Settings. State. Settings state. Settings state. So I initialize that button. Um, update input. Update buttons. Okay. Update render. I think it's in here that there is a problem. In the update buttons, the exit state, update input, render buttons, render. Wait, am I don't I delete the buttons? Oh wait, that's because I didn't do this. Wait, before we <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Just open the constructor and the destructor and we'll just copy all the content in. So there you go. And copy that in here. And the deletion of the buttons from here. And put it in there. So there you go. Now we'll run it. Now it should work. Come on. Uh, settings. Cool. Settings state. And we quit. And it basically quits um, the, whole, the whole game. Um... But I don't want that. One second, one second. Update buttons. This end state. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's kind of weird. How it quits the whole game. But whatever, we'll check that out later. That's it for this video. We made a state for settings and we finished the pause menu. Thank you for sticking with me. Sorry for the longer video and all that. Uh, but if you want, please check out the description box. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.